let us look at equivalent problems so two problems are said to be equivalent if you can get the solution of one from the other and vice versa we have already seen an example of a very simple set of equivalent problems which can be obtained by scaling the objective functions and the constraints it is also possible to obtain equivalent problems by change of variables so the change of variables should be of this form so let's say that z is equal to phi of x where phi is a 1 to 1 function so what is a 1 to 1 function a 1 to 1 function is such that given x you can find z and given z you can find x and there is a one to one mapping between the z's and the x's right so the one to one function is invertible and there is a unique inverse in other words you can write also write this as phi inverse of z and phi inverse is well defined so that is a one to one function so let me write a problem which is in terms of z so let's say that z star is equal to arg min over z f naught of z fi of z less than equal to 0 hi of z is equal to 0 and for the purposes of demonstration i am also writing down the implicit constraint let's say the implicit constraint is of the form that z belongs to d now let's apply this change of variable so then we will get x star is equal to arg min of over x f naught of phi of x subject to constraint fi of phi of x less than equal to 0 and hi of phi of x equal to 0. So note that I have written down the general problem not just not necessarily the convex problem. So this is generally true and phi x belonging to d. So this is the transformed version of this problem where we have done a change of variables. z is being replaced with phi of x. Now whenever you have a function of the form f composition phi you can always call it by a new function of the form f tilde. Right so f naught tilde. So this problem is can be written in this way. So this problem can be written as x star is equal to arg min over x f naught tilde of x subject to constraint f i tilde of x less than equal to 0 and h i tilde of x equal to 0 as well as saying that x actually belongs to d bar or d tilde and what is d tilde? d tilde is the set of all x phi x belongs to d right so this is our new problem now so this last one is the new transformed problem now and the interesting thing to notice is that while the original problem may not be convex it may have some equality constraints which are not affine this transformation of variables may render the final problem into a convex one so this could be convex so this is an interesting case and observe what is the mapping between x star and z star are they equivalent you can observe that x star is equal to phi inverse of z star and z star is equal to phi of x star so there is a one to one mapping between x star and z star so starting at x star you can obtain a z star and starting at z star you can obtain a x star so these two problems are equivalent so let's consider an example where this kind of transformation renders a non-convex problem into a convex one so let's take such an example so let's consider minimize over x c1 log of x1 plus c2 log of x2 plus c3 log of x3 
and let's say the constraints are of the form a1 log of x1 plus a2 log of x2 plus a3 log of x3 less than equal to b and let's say other constraints of the form xi greater than 1 for i equal to 1 2 3 so this i have just introduced to make sure that log are well defined and let's say it is given that ci is greater than 0 and ai is greater than equal to 0 so both ai and ci are greater than equal to 0 now is this problem convex So is this problem convex? Remember that log is a concave function. So therefore the objective here is concave. Right? Likewise we have an inequality constraint of the form concave function less than or equal to 0 and not a convex function less than or equal to 0. Therefore this problem is not convex because the objective instead of being convex it is concave likewise the inequalities do not involve convex functions however let's make a change of variables here so let's say that phi is the log function right so let's say that this problem is of the form z1 is equal to log of x1 and z2 equal to log of x2 and z3 equal to log of x3 or in other words you could say that xi equal to e raised to the power zi note that for x1 greater than 1 z is well defined z is not minus infinity z is well defined and this is a one to one mapping so in that case what does the problem look like you can write the problem in terms of z as z star is equal to min over and I will replace log of x1 with z1 so min over c1 z1 plus c2 z2 plus c3 z3 subject to inequality constraint of the form a1 z1 plus a2 z2 plus a3 z3 less than equal to b and likewise for xi greater than or equal to 1 it is the same as saying that zi is greater than or equal to 0. So this if you remember this is simply a linear program and is of course convex because the objective is linear and the inequality constraint is affine so therefore also convex function and this inequality is also an affine function. So in fact this is a linear program, so linear programs are convex. On the other hand, the original problem was not convex. So we have been able to convert it into a convex form by using this change of variables. And you can obtain the original solution by setting x star is equal to e raised to the power z star. So once you have solved the linear program, just take e raised to the power z star in order to obtain x star.